If an overcurrent situation arises while the Yarbo is executing the work plan, the app might display the following prompt, error 501. Please check if the left track of Yarbo is stuck and manually removes any foreign objects. Then, try to click the clear error button on the setting page to resolve the overcurrent situation. Afterward, resume the work plan or restart the work plan from the home page. If the issue persists, please reach out to Yarbo support for further assistance. If an overcurrent situation arises while the Yarbo is executing the work plan, the app might display the following prompt, error 504. Press down the emergency button, please check if the auger is frozen or if there are any foreign objects obstructing the auger. We recommend melting the ice in a warm place and then wiping off the water. For foreign objects, kindly manually remove them. Then try to click the clear error button on the setting page to resolve the overcurrent situation. Afterward, resume the work plan or restart the work plan from the home page. If the issue persists, it is possible that the snow in this area exceeds Yarbo's capability. It is not advisable for Yarbo to continue working. Please reach out to Yarbo support for further assistance. If an overcurrent situation arises while the Yarbo is executing the work plan, the app might display the following prompt, error 505. Please check if the snow chute is frozen or if there are any foreign objects obstructing the snow chute. Please kindly manually remove the foreign objects. Then try to click the clear error button on the setting page to resolve the overcurrent situation. Afterward, resume the work plan or restart the work plan from the home page. If the issue persists, please reach out to Yarbo support for further assistance. If an overcurrent situation arises while the Yarbo is executing the work plan, the app might display the following prompt, error 506. Please check if the deflector is frozen or if there are any foreign objects obstructing the deflector. Please kindly manually remove the foreign objects. Then try to click the clear error button on the setting page to resolve the overcurrent situation. Afterward, resume the work plan or restart the work plan from the home page. If the issue persists, please reach out to Yarbo support for further assistance. If the front camera is blocked or blinded, the following icon may appear on the app while Yarbo will broadcast front camera block. Clicking on the icon will prompt the message camera block. Please ensure there are no attachments on the camera. Please kindly remove the snow or any obstructions from the front camera. If the issue persists, it may be due to internal condensation. Please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the left camera is blocked or blinded, the following icon may appear on the app while Yarbo will broadcast left camera blocked. Clicking on the icon will prompt the message camera blocked. Please ensure there are no attachments on the camera. Please kindly remove the snow or any obstructions from the left camera. If the issue persists, it may be due to internal condensation. Please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the right camera is blocked or blinded, the following icon may appear on the app while Yarbo will broadcast right camera blocked. Clicking on the icon will prompt the message camera blocked. Please ensure there are no attachments on the camera. Please kindly remove the snow or any obstructions from the right camera. If the issue persists, it may be due to internal condensation. Please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the charging action fails due to the low battery temperature, no prompt will appear on the app. Please ensure that Yarbo is correctly positioned at the docking station and check if the charging light at the docking station turns green. The charging icon will not respond if the battery temperature is below 5 degrees centigrade. Please patiently wait for 20 to 30 minutes for the battery to heat up before initiating a charge. If the issue persists, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. For the first time pairing Yarbo with the docking station, if charging fails due to incorrect positioning, the following prompt may appear on the app, unable to save position. Please drive Yarbo to the center of the docking station. Please carefully drive Yarbo and ensure precise alignment of Yarbo at the center of the docking station. Then click the save position button again. Please note that the save position button will not turn yellow if Yarbo is not correctly positioned at the docking station. Please ensure that the charging light at the docking station turns green. If the issue persists, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. When manually driving Yarbo back to the charging station, if Yarbo is incorrectly positioned, the charging action may fail. 
Please carefully drive Yarbo and ensure precise alignment of Yarbo at the center of the docking station. Then click the charging icon again. The charging icon will not respond if Yarbo is not properly positioned at the docking station. Please ensure that the charging light at the docking station turns green. If the issue persists, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the work plan is attempted to be started within the no-go zone, the work plan will not proceed. The app will prompt a reminder, Yarbo cannot start the plan in the no-go zone. Please drive Yarbo away from it. Additionally, if we proceed to the map page, the app might display the following prompt, Yarbo cannot start the plan in the no-go zone. Please drive Yarbo away from it. It is necessary to drive Yarbo out of the no-go zone to initiate the work plan. The work plan can be initiated either from the My Map page or from the Home page. By selecting the Work Plan button on the My Map page, click on the Start icon to initiate the work plan. If Yarbo encounter a bump and gets stuck while executing the work plan, The app might display the following prompt, failed to pass this bump. Please go verify the Yarbo status. Please make sure the work plan is ended or paused before approaching to Yarbo. Please check if any track of Yarbo is stuck and remove any obstacles manually, if necessary. If needed, please kindly pull out Yarbo from the bump. Then, try to resume the work plan or restart the work plan. The work plan can be initiated either from the My Map page or from the Home page. If the issue persists, please reach out to Yarbo support for further assistance. If the GPS signal is unavailable, the following prompt may appear on the app, No GPS Signal. On the Diagnosis page, under the RTK section, the displayed status 0 indicates no GPS signal. In this situation, please wait patiently for 2 minutes to allow the rover to reconnect. Once the GPS signal is restored, Yarbo will be ready for operation. The GPS signal status can be checked on either the home page or the diagnosis page. A green GPS icon indicates a strong signal. On the diagnosis page, a status of 4 suggests a strong GPS signal. To resume the mapping process, click the Add Map button. If the status remains at zero, please power off and restart Yarbo. Check the GPS status again on the main page or the diagnosis page. If the issue persists, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the GPS signal is unavailable, the following prompt may appear on the app, No GPS Signal. On the Diagnosis page, under the RTK section, the displayed status 1 indicates no GPS signal. In this situation, please make sure the base is powered and the indicate light in base is green. Once the GPS signal is restored, Yarbo will be ready for operation. The GPS signal status can be checked on either the home page or the diagnosis page. A green GPS icon indicates a strong signal. On the diagnosis page, a status of 4 suggests a strong GPS signal. To resume the mapping process, click the Add Map button. If the status remains at 1, please make sure Yarbo is in the outdoor environment. Check the GPS status again on the main page or the diagnosis page. If the issue persists, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the GPS signal is unstable, the following prompt may appear on the app, Weak GPS Signal. On the diagnosis page, under the RTK section, the displayed status 2 indicates Weak GPS Signal. In this situation, please fasten the RTK antennas to the rover. Once the GPS signal is restored, Yarbo will be ready for operation. The GPS signal status can be checked on either the home page or the diagnosis page. A green GPS icon indicates a strong signal. On the diagnosis page, a status of 4 suggests a strong GPS signal. To resume the mapping process, click the Add Map button. If the status remains at 2, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance. If the GPS signal is unstable, the following prompt may appear on the app, Medium GPS Signal. 
On the diagnosis page, under the RTK section, the displayed status 5 indicates medium GPS signal. In this situation, please move the RTK set to a more open area to operate Yarbo. Once the GPS signal is restored, Yarbo will be ready for operation. The GPS signal status can be checked on either the home page or the diagnosis page. A green GPS icon indicates a strong signal. On the diagnosis page, a status of 4 suggests a strong GPS signal. To resume the mapping process, click the Add Map button. If the status remains at 5, please contact Yarbo support for further assistance.